welcome back to my channel. I am Vanessa and today I have a review for you. If you can't tell from the title, it is a Gymshark review. Um, a little controversial for my channel. I've expressed my views about Gymshark on my Instagram channel, not so much on YouTube. But um, let me just start by saying that this is my second time filming uh, first impressions video for Gymshark. So it's kind of not first impressions, but I wanted to combine the two. Um, basically, um, I have 11 items to show you from Gymshark that I bought with my own money to review for myself. How this came along is that for their birthday sale, I bought my one outfit just to try it out. And I bought the ombre pink and gray set. So I'm going to try that on. I'm going to show you what that looks like on, what I think about it. Um, my review from that set was pretty positive. Next thing I know, while I'm putting that video together to upload to YouTube, I already finished editing it and everything. Gymshark announces their blackout sale. So it was like, skirt, skirt, let me hold off. Let me check out this sale and see what's going on with this first. So I ended up buying nine more pieces. So I was like, let me just try out some of the classic uh, styles from Gymshark, give my review, and then that will kind of determine if I ever spend money with them again. My biggest concern was how will it look on my body? I don't look like their typical Gymshark athlete, which brings me to the second reason why I decided to buy Gymshark. I saw that they started diversifying their athletes, and my biggest qualm was that there was no athletes that looked like me um, in any of their campaigns that were sponsored, affiliates, nothing. Like over the course of Gymshark history, I've never seen a girl look like me. And the same day that they announced their blackout and that I was gonna upload the first video totally talking in depth about this whole situation, Brittany Babe announces that she is working with Gymshark and I was just like, there goes my whole video. I was super happy. So I decided to change this whole thing, let me, go really in depth with my first Gymshark review and here we are. So let's talk about the pieces that I bought. I have the ombre collection to show you first. So I got the coral and the marled charcoal, I believe it's called. Um, I got the top with the long sleeves and I got the leggings to go along with that. So first impressions are it is super comfortable and it's really nice for the winter months. I am located in Atlanta. Uh, while it's warm most of the year, when it gets winter time, it turns into winter down here. It gets really cold. We might not get that much snow, but baby, it gets biting cold down here. Um, so it's nice to have something that's thick. Um, I do enjoy thick material. It is high-waisted. Um, one thing I do not like about this outfit is the booty contour. Um, I don't have anything against the booty contour in theory. It's just that um, it doesn't go in the right spot. It's like below my butt cheek and I feel like my butt cheeks are big enough, you know, for that to not happen. But it happens. So there's that. Um, the leggings are definitely long enough, which is like a big thing for me because I am tall. Uh, by the way, all my measurements will be in the description below. Um, it's hard to find leggings that go all the way down to my ankles and don't look weird or like at an awkward length. So A plus there. Um, I did work out in these in the set and I enjoyed it and I posted videos on my Instagram so make sure you go follow me there for content that is not released here on YouTube. Again, I wanted to emphasize that I wanted to see what this clothes look like on me with curves. Um, so far with this outfit, so good. Um, I think it's pretty flattering, so here we go. Second outfit I want to talk about is what I'm wearing. Um, I got the Gymshark Lifting Club shirt, so I'm wearing that here. Um, it was $15, and I don't know why they put it out, so I was just curious more than anything, so I bought it because I was curious. Um, but I think it's cute. I like the little panels on the side there. I like that it's cropped, but it's finished at the bottom. Um, it's really lightweight. Uh, the material's super soft, so. Um, if you like that naked feel in the gym or like you don't like the feel of 
fabric on you, like on your arms or something, like that's that's how I am. Uh, you'll enjoy this top, and there's that's pretty much all there is to say about the lifting club gear so far. I don't know if they announced anything else having to do with the gear, or if they were just like, let's put some exclusive out for no reason. I don't know. Um, the other thing I'm wearing right now are the core leggings. Uh, these I got to go with the next top that I'm going to show you. Um, I did want just solid black Gymshark leggings. Uh, the thing that I was first worried about when I first got these is the elastic waistband. It's very old school for leggings to have like the scrunchy waistband like this. And I haven't had a pair of leggings that had that so I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to be flattering. But to be honest, I really do like it. Um, it really reminds me of how leggings used to be super comfortable <laughs> before like we got out of hand with the high waist or the boxer brief uh, waistband and all of that. So um, they are very comfortable. I'm a little concerned about the Gymshark uh, logo on the side. Just feeling it, it's like um, kind of like the iron on. It gives me like the iron on kiosk in the middle of the mall and it'll just like chip off if I pick at it. Um, that's what it feels like. It's thick though, so I don't know how many washes it's gonna take for that to come off, but so far I've washed it one time, maybe two, and it survived, so, you know. Again, I think it's pretty flattering and, you know, I have nothing bad to say about those. Next thing that I picked up from Gymshark was a swimsuit. I wanted to try it out. So me trying it out here on camera is gonna be the first time. Um, and me trying this on. So I wanted to give you a few live first impressions. So I'm just gonna show you this first, then we'll try it on and I'll give you my impressions after the try on. So um, the bottoms are high-waisted. Uh, this was called the workout bikini set. So workout bikini bottoms, high-waisted, which is something I really wanted in a bikini uh, this summer and I just hadn't found like too many of the ones I really like. So I was like, let's try out Gymshark. It is supposed to be active wear. I'm an active girl, even on vacation. So I wanted to try this out. And those workout videos on the beach, perfect set for that, right? Um, it does have like a sticky, uh, um, inner waistband to help it stay up um, after you get wet. So, yeah. And then the top that I got with this, uh, the reason why I was like, yeah, I want to really get this uh, bikini set is because the top I felt like could be versatile. Uh, this is the workout bikini top. In the front, it has a matching waistband. And in the back, it has like a little, little peekaboo situation. And this is mesh, so it's see-through in the back. Um, I did, like I said, I bought the legging, the core leggings to go with this because I figured this could double as a workout top. Again, it does have the rubber and inner band to keep it from going anywhere. And it does have built-in cups that uh, I believe you can take out. Yes, you can take out their built-in cups. Um, yeah, so that's the top and the bottom. Let's put it on and see what I think about So next up is the star of the show. I wanted to do a thorough try out of this collection, but let me just side note, I bought my stuff during blackout. The amount of stuff that I got on blackout, I think is impressive because a lot of people walked away with nothing. It took me three tries, three different days to get what I compiled together. Three different orders came to my door. 
Uh, so that brings me to the Flex Collection. They were giving away leggings in the Flex Collection for like $10 and I didn't get one. <laughs> I did get um, two or three pairs for $19.90 or something, which is still pretty good because I think regular price are around $40 or something like that. So I wanted to try the Flex leggings because they are the most iconic collection with Gymshark. And I got a couple different colors because I heard that this sizing is inconsistent. So I wanted to test out the theory. By the way, I bought everything in a size small, top and bottom. Everything I'm showing you is a size small. Um, I originally was gonna get medium, smalls, larges, but again, blackout was ha harem, like complete harem. So I got the gray, the dark gray with the burgundy waistband. Um, I do have a hoodie that I was looking to match this with, so um, there's that. For a size small, these are extremely roomy for me um, in my measurements, which I don't really get with size smalls. I usually get like, oh, I'm a medium or I need to just go all the way up to the medium, so I was worried, but these fit really good. They're really stretchy, lots of room to grow in these babies. And then I got the matching bra, which, you know, you guys seen it once, you've seen it a million times. It has the contour and the boobies there. Um, and they do have removable cups. So yeah, that is the first outfit. Um, I did originally want the burgundy in the cropped version. I ended up just picking up this blue pair, blue waistband pair in the cropped version. So yeah, same kind of fit here um, for the size small it fit the exact same except being cropped so no complaints there with the size and consistencies um i did go ahead i could not get a top to match that and it made me so sad the closest thing that i could find during blackout was this top uh, this bra top it does not have um, bra cups in it so it's kind of like a crop top I wouldn't even consider it a bra really it's just a crop top because you're not going to get too much support in this I don't think but um, I'm going to try this on for you here and I'll give you my final impressions on this blue top and whether or not it matches that well to this it's the exact same color so things crossed. okay so with my last piece this is where the inconsistencies kind of go with the sizing I got this um uh yeah we'll call it this is a dark ruby mauled blush nude color colorway here um i did really really want a top to go with this color and i just couldn't get it done so what i'm thinking i might do if it drives me crazy is just get the um vital seamless i think no no energy seamless bra in, in the ruby color to go with this because i don't have anything that matches this it makes me so sad However, um, this is a size small, just like the other Flex leggings, and she is a little tight. She's definitely a little tight. Um, this is one I could probably stand to go up a size in. I can't pull it up as much as I can pull up the gray ones. And I think, you know, it's not Gymshark's fault. I mean, they could have done a little bit more quality control knowing that if you have the same fabric and it's made out of different colors, especially black, white, um, when you dye a fabric a certain color, sometimes it just bonds the material a different way and it makes it stiffer. Um, that's why usually in most materials, black is the most structured, it's the hardest, or it has the leggings. So my guess would be if you get a colored flex legging set, they are probably going to be a little smaller and that is just my uh, guesstimation based off of what I have. Final thoughts. Uh, first thing with the ombre set, I do believe they are discontinuing the ombre set, which makes me sad because I really wanted a bra top instead of my long sleeve. Um, you know, I figure I can probably find one on Poshmark or something like that if I really want one bad enough. But um, yes, I do believe they are discontinuing. I also wanted to be great. It's a black set, but you know, I got what I got. Um, <clears throat> and the flex legging they are already advertising that they're coming out with a high-waisted version of their flex legging that takes away the waistband but extends it up a little bit so i mean that's pretty cool 
I I see a lot of girls hike up their, their flux leggings to make them high waist that they're not meant to be. And I also see a lot of girls complain that they are they get holes in their leggings and their flex leggings really easily. And I'd say it's because you're hiking them to high hell and they're not supposed to be. So wear them comfortably or where they're supposed to be and you probably won't have that problem. Just being blunt. Um, overall, I enjoy the collection. Out of everything that I bought here, I don't expect to be taking anything back. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. And I had Gymshark has a new customer. So yeah, I'm excited to try out the rest of these clothes I haven't tried out in the gym yet. And add them, welcome to my wardrobe. So thank you Gymshark for including people who look like me in your campaigns, on your, your Instagram. I've definitely noticed that you guys have made that effort to be more fluid in your you know diversity there it really does make all the difference representation matters so much and i know there are people watching this video they're just like blah 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 i mean if you saw the title you kind of knew where we were going anyway girlfriend but um yeah i really i really appreciate that gymshark so much you have a new fan keep up the all right guys that is the end of the video tell me down below what do you think do you think the clothes look good on me do you you know do you have the same thoughts on the diversity thing that i have or do you have the opposite let's have a discussion down below and if there is a brand that you want me to review let me down let me know down below i am open to trying some different brands and seeing what they look like on a body like mine but until then check out my next video which will pop up on one of these sides probably right square let's do right square in the middle <laughs>